Hey folks, welcome back to the shop. Real quick one for you today. Um, because this is cable drive, there's a little bit of backlash in it. There's a way to dial it and compensate for that backlash so you get a very precise Z or Z height. I've got my machine clamped down here. I've got it homed, really simple. All you need is a, something of a known height. I have this little piece of aluminum here. I know it's six millimeters tall and that is what I'm gonna use as my gauge block. So you simply go into trace mode. I like to do just a circle. Doesn't need to be anything special. I got a 10 millimeter circle, but the important thing is in your settings, you want the clearance height to be the thickness of your block. In this case, I've got it set for six millimeters. So I just exit back out to the main screen, run the file, it'll do an arbitrary little circle. And then when it comes back up to clearance height, I check to see if the block fits. And it doesn't fit. Looks like I need a little, little over a millimeter more. So very easy to change that. You go into settings, machine settings, scroll down to probe offset, choose the Z probe offset, and enter in what you think. I'm gonna put in a millimeter and a half. I think that's about right, we'll see. Um, on the way out, you save the settings, back to the main screen, hit run again, see what happens. So check with the block. Now it fits under, maybe it's a little bit loose. It could probably go with 1.4 millimeters. But there you go, that's how you dial the Z backlash so you get a precise height every time.